Okay, it's been a long time since I've done a team game. I wasn't exactly sure how everything would look. We do have a lot of information on screen, but I still think this would be awesome. So anyways, guys, we've got a 4v4 Black Forest. I was just saying earlier, I wanted to switch it up with ideas for content. I've been looking around for some cool games. This is a game that shows some things I've never really seen before. Uh, it's a 4v4 Black Forest game. And I'm going to introduce the teams here. Uh, and there might be one player in particular here that stands out to you, okay? Um, for the Iron Titan team, I guess. Uh, we have Iron Titan in the green, in the flank, playing as the Byzantines. Uh, in the, wow, very far away, in the pocket position, as we call it, we have Charlie Boys playing as the Persians. In the red, we've got Major Myth playing as the Lithuanians. And then far away on the other flank, we have Stomper. And I don't know what's going on with this map, Jen. We've got the orange player stuck, you know, with very little space. And then Stomper's like, <laughs> Stomper? I mean, he's also kind of wedged in here, but Stomper's playing as the Ethiopians, okay? Uh, on the other side, we're going to loop back over to the right here for the sake of the introduction. We have Nimi Shri playing as the Malay. On uh, the teal, we've got Wu or Wiu <laughs> playing as the Japanese. On uh, the yellow, we've got Franks for no more 8,000s. And then last but not least, the player who will be our primary focus in this cast is uh, Slam, who is a pro player playing in the blue. Now, if you look at the chat, Charlie Boy's Slam is a pro lol. And I'm not sure what W... Oh, Wall There Orange is probably what they were saying there. But yeah, so so they recognize one player on the other team is pretty good here, right? And so I'm a big Slam fan. I've been a fan of his for years. And so, uh, you know, I'm not the biggest Black Forest guy, even though I have signed up for the upcoming Black Forest tournament. Ooh. Anyways, um, that's going to be a disaster for me. But I'll occasionally watch Slam play some Black Forest. And usually he's playing amongst, like, a lot of big Black Forest names. On this particular evening in question, there was not really any, like, high ELO games going on. So he jumped in here with some players that are solid players, but they're not, like, you know, super pro level, right? And he's also playing as the Burgundians. So we'll see what Slam has in store for us. There's going to be uh, two things that I really want to show you in this game. One's going to be the Slam's long-term strategy, which, if you know the Burgundians, you might be able to guess. But then also something that Slam likes to do on Black Forest, which is just incredibly entertaining. So uh, anyways, I'm looking forward to it. Slam certainly has a target on his back here because he is a strong player. And also there's a very large opening between Slam and the enemy, which you could choose to wall, which a lot of Black Forest players do. Like over here, we had flanks wall. Here we have players wall. But that's also a big wall, and sometimes if you want to have a good economy, you don't necessarily want to do that. All right, are you guys ready for this? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Islam is making a trip over here. So Black Forest can generate extra boars sometimes. Uh, in this case, there's just extra rhinos and not extra boars. <laughs> oh, I love it. What would you expect of a player Slam's caliber to try when he is playing amongst some players that are slightly lower rated? All right, Crocodile goes in for his villager. Slam not happy about that. And Slam's going to kill this Croc real quick. And then meanwhile, Slam's just placing these Palisade walls. And if you didn't know about the villager in the middle, you might say, what the crap is that? That makes no sense. Guys. We are about to see something so epic. Slam has no loom, by the way. Rhinos attack faster than boars as well. And Slam's just waiting. He's thinking about it. And he wants these, these rhinos, man. He desperately wants these rhinos. Now, over on this side, let's see how this guy does. <laughs> okay, here comes Wu. And Wu is trying to bring three rhinos back to his base. And you have to use the scout to block. Now, Wu did get Loom just in case. Otherwise, that Vil would have died already. Now, the way this works is all of Gaia, which is things like animals, relics, and, and uh, birds, uh, which I guess is animals. They all have the same vision. So this is actually Gaia vision, okay? And all of these rhinos are going to continue to chase this villager until that villager leaves Gaia vision. So actually, birds can actually affect this. Uh, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, I'm on Gaia's point of view. Now I'm on Slam's point of view. Slam currently 
has three rhinos chasing him. No loom. Hasn't taken a single hit yet. And is he going to go to his base? No, he's not going to go to his base. Why would you do that? We need more rhinos. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. He's got to get that one slam. Okay, well, he's not able to get that one, sadly. That one rhino gets to survive. <laughs> okay, so here goes slam. How's Wu doing? <laughs> Okay, well, that's what a normal player's like. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I'm so sorry, bro. I did not know you were going to be the focus of this. I really wanted to focus on Slam. I feel bad for this player if he sees this. So here comes Slam trying to bring the Rhinos. Now, the big problem, guys, is if you want to take all those Rhinos at once, you're going to lose all your Vils. So Slam, he's made a little zoo here. And watch this. Watch it. Watch it. Quick wall. Quick wall. He's got a zoo. Now he has all these rhinos in here. And how'd Wu do? Did Wu lose the scout? No, Wu's... Okay, Wu still has the scout. Congratulations, Wu. <laughs> Applause for Wu. Wu's a beast. We didn't see you lose that villager. Oh, how's Red doing? Okay, Major Myth. Let's go. Major Myth, how you doing? Okay. <laughs> So, Yellow, uh, Slam's teammate, signals this and says WTF, and Slam is in a good spot as far as resources are concerned. Uh, Red says the pathing in this game is just getting worse and worse. Yes, it was definitely the pathing, Red. It was definitely the pathing. It had nothing to do with the fact you didn't get Loom. It had nothing to do with the fact that your scout wasn't blocking. Uh, and Red now says lost three villagers. Yeah, okay, it was definitely the pathing, bro. Definitely the pathing. But yeah, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on this, right? So, like, Slam has developed a method for bringing in these rhinos now. Now, sometimes they'll try and go back to their original home. But for whatever reason, they're not doing it here. And I think it's because the, like, one of the ones back here was trying to get in. So he just deletes a wall. And then, uh-oh, Slam just lost a villager to the scout attack. He just rewalls it. The Slam's going to have resources for days. Okay. Now, this is where it gets fun, because this other team is like, we've got to kill Slam, right? We've got to kill Slam as quickly as possible. So Slam lost a villager already. And we're going to have a big focus on Stomper here, guys, okay? And Orange must have noticed. It says Rhino goes Burr Slam. So these guys are having fun. I love the amount of chatter we're seeing in this game. It's been really cool. Uh, yellow and blue are teammates, and then red and orange and purple are all teammates. So a lot of scouts over here. Good job from yellow to support slam. Now here come the archers from Stomper, okay? And slam starting to fish trap. Slam's bringing in another rhino, still just taking his time. And slam's on the way to Castlage right now. Again, no loom. So he's gonna... As his villager's building a fish trap there, he's gonna lose... So many villagers if these archers get anywhere near. So this is what you would expect a higher ranked player to do, right? Take a lot of risks, do some funny stuff, and it's going to bring us some great entertainment. <laughs> you could definitely tell the elo gap, though. Like, Stomper's probably making houses or something. The archers are just standing there. <laughs> Stomper he maybe doesn't think that his opponent can see him right now. And here comes Stomper on the way, ready to fight. Now, unfortunately for Slam, like, he wants to go for fish traps on all these fishing ships. But Stomper's not willing to allow Slam to have a free and easy game. So credit to you, Stomper, because a lot of people, they might just get stomped by Slam. And look at the micro here. Ethiopian archers in position, sniping the fish traps. Tries to, com to uh, complete the dock and backed away when Slam had a demo. And the enemy can see the rhinos there. They can't see the palisades. But everyone can see the rhinos are there, which is probably why Orange had said something earlier. But Slam doesn't have any army right now. He's got an army of rhinos, but that doesn't count. A stomper with the aggression, and I like the aggression so far. It kills the villager from Slam, again, because Slam doesn't have loom. And Slam under pressure loses another villager, and if you thought this game was going to be a stomp, haha! Uh. Clearly, you were wrong on which direction it would go, because Slam is playing really greedy here. Let's briefly talk about the other players. Here we've got Teal booming. Yellow's dropping a second TC. Yellow is supporting Slam with army, though. 
which is going to be very nice for Slam as he has to go for some siege and he's also thinking monks as well. He also is making fire galleys and he's still bringing in rhinos. I, I can't wait to check Slam's food collected. We could maybe check it now. Uh, there's a lot of clutter happening. Slam has collected not as much food as the other, sadly, but 3,500 food, which is the most in the game, actually, just now. 3,500 food, all from rhinos. Hasn't really even taken his berries and barely had any fishing ships. Now, red on this side, I like the approach. He's thinking, let's get relics because I'm Lithuanians and we get extra attack on our knights per relic. And let's be aggressive, right? Slam hasn't walled. And Stomper's making lots of archers, so let's be as aggressive as possible. Stomper did lose all of his archers, but he does have more archers. And it looks like he accidentally made a fire galley in this pond instead of this pond. <laughs> Whoops. And yellow's like, I've got plus two knights here. Uh, or is he saying that red has plus two knights? I think he's saying that red has plus two knights. He doesn't have plus two yet. But kind of letting Slam know... Like, hey, buddy, we're going to have some trouble coming. Slam still no loom, by the way. He is getting the Imperial Age wood upgrade because he's Burgundians, and you can research Eco Technologies one age earlier. So, uh, guys, in case you needed to know this, in case you didn't pick up on this, because I don't do team games that frequently, uh, here comes Teal with a tower. From the other side of the map, just making a tower. Um, that's actually really satisfying there on that hill. But the Vil count for the players... Is all separated by team. The number below is army. And then the resources for the players are all the bottom right. I assume you guys picked up on that, but just in case you didn't, that's where things are located. Slam still isn't finished with his rhinos yet. Still hasn't seeded a single farm. And is back fish trapping because he really wanted to have fish traps. Yellow, I don't know if this is sarcastic or not, but does say good tower, bro. I'm sure that Wii U over here really wants to go for a uh, guard tower with the Japanese and get lots of crazy upgrades. And truthfully, towers are going to be pretty nice in this position, especially if archers are going to come in from Stomper. And you can tell Stomper's castle age time has struggled here because he went so aggressive. I think the lobby was 1300 plus ELO, by the way, for those wondering. I, I was not able to check the ELO of all the players here, but for anyone wondering the rank of these guys... I uh, should mention that. Now, we've got Orange coming over with Knights as well. So, everyone's really focused on Slam. And conversion does happen there for Slam. But these are Lithuanian Knights. Plus two attack right now and plus two armors. This is far greater than Yellow's upgrades. But Yellow's also gone for a lot more of an economic approach. And unfortunately, this villager is going to have to hop inside this tower. And Slam's going to need more conversions to help his team because... Yeah, this is this whole tower situation not really helping against knights. So Slam, he's on four TCs now. His eco is not that insane considering what could have been possible. And he will eventually need to transition into those farms. And Yellow's just massing more army. And Yellow's saying I'll go castle units. And we have guard tower upgrade completed here from Teal. And even three towers here as well. It's kind of funny. And normally higher elo players aren't going to invest that level of stone that early. But I like how Teal didn't sacrifice his eco. That's been pretty good. How's Gray doing? I feel like I haven't talked about Gray yet. Well, Gray is housed. But Gray's, Gray's got three TCs. And Gray's building more houses. Gray's got really good eco count. Kind of awkward with Malay on Black Forest, especially if you don't have a pond. So Yellow's got a support with more knights. Uh, what's Stomper up to? Stomper's my favorite, man. I love Stomper. Stomper's been super aggressive. And Stomper needs to muster up the courage to run forward here in pressure. Now, the total team resources... I switch the color of the name? I can't do that. Green and blue is probably rough for some people. But the total number of uh, eco count is climbing, climbing for Slam's team. Slam is about to have the highest eco count in the game. Also, green on this side, Iron Titan, as the Byzantines could have pretty good push going soon. Also, I feel like Byzantines just destroy the Malay and the Japanese if they were to fight on that one side. That could be really rough. The Reds got plus three attack right now on the Knights. And looking to move in here. And Major Myth has done a really good job. Apart from the losing the three villagers to Boars, which he complained about earlier, 
He's done a really nice job here. And nice unit positioning. Realizing his upgrades are higher as well. So not hesitating to go in. Uh, we'll kill the monk. Probably needs to back away to his own monks. But yellow's got to be careful. Stomper, buddy. This is where you're needed. Where are you? Come on, Stomper. You got this. Move forward. Pressure slam. Don't let this guy get away with it. He slayed so many rhinos. Oh, man. Slam's probably so stressed out right now, seeing his fish traps and his fishing ships are being attacked. All right. The knights are just going to go for the dock. Oh, man. Oh, I actually forgot about... I, I actually forgot about this. <laughs> So, you never know in a 1300 plus lobby, you never know if they know all the Black Forest tricks. Watch this. <laughs> Red does. <laughs> you can steal people's fish traps with a fishing ship. <laughs> Major Myth, you're a boss. He's stealing all of Slam's fishing traps. And you can just delete the fish traps then. He's paying a lot of attention to his attack here. Has to go for conversions if he can. Takes a big fight. Yellow's cut up on some upgrades now and numbers. The Slam at 100 villagers. And if you haven't gathered this already, Slam is intending on only making villagers in this game. Slam is not interested in doing anything else. I mean, he's made a couple monks, obviously. He's helping where he can. Without yellow, though, Slam would be completely dead. And here come the villagers from Stomper. Again, Stomper's a beast. Stomper's an absolute beast. Iron Titan and Imp, by the way. So on the other side, this could get interesting. Castle now for Slam. Slam still doesn't have Loom. No Loom upgrade for Slam. These poor defenseless villagers. Big fight. I mean, we've got three people here versus one. All right, I'm not going to count Slam in that because Slam's not making army. But Slam will actually get his castle up. But this is precisely what these weaker players need to do. Pressure the top gun and never let him breathe. And punish the fact he doesn't have Loom. Now, what's green up to? Looks like green is thinking about halbs on this side. We do have to pay attention to that. See if he could push there. It is on gray to hold that side. Or even push that side because Slam's side is under a lot of pressure right now. Slam's got a lot of eco. He's going to eat another rhino. That's cheating though, Slam. He should have left that one because you didn't get that in the original bunch. And uh, Stomper's even making petards right now. So he's making rams, he's making petards, and he wants to push down the castles and the uh, town center. Meanwhile, Red getting more attack upgrades. And Charlie Boys is here as well. Char Charlie was the guy who uh, said Slam is a pro. He was the one who warned the others. How many times can he do the thing as Burgundians? Well, someone talked about it. And clearly Slam is thinking about the revolution as he's making only villagers right now. And you can only do it one time. You can make Flemish militia from your town centers after researching that. But no one ever does that. Ay, ay, ay. Slam with two castles now. Oh my goodness. This is so rough. Stomper's been a little awkward here with the petards. You've got to go in. There you go. But yeah, Slam thinking about the Flemish Revolution, which will turn all of his villagers into military. But he would need Imp. He's not in the way to Imp. And ideally, with the way he's going for it, he would need to have a lot more eco. A lot more being 70 more, and maybe that's achievable. Yellow has been such a beast, though, right? Like, without Yellow, where would Slam be in this game? Yellow has kept up with the army production of some of the others, but he's also had better economy. And him being an imp could free up Slam a little bit here, because we have red and we have purple, and they're all in castle age against Slam at the moment. Yellow just doing everything he can here, trying to take out the rams and buy Slam time. I think red and purple could have been way more assertive, by the way. Like, orange as well. I think they actually could have forced engagements much earlier. Uh, they were a little hesitant, I think. And they might not, not have even needed to wait for a castle drop. But it's always hard to say. They've had so much army. And they still have the army. Now, some of red's knights getting split up here. We'll find some villager kills on slam. They're targets. Slam at 150 villagers now. Still hasn't clicked up to the Imperial Age. Still producing vills all the time. Still under massive pressure. And what's green up to? Green's starting to make a push. So on this side, we're going to have Arbalest from Grey and Karambit Warriors hoping to hold against this. 
So still to be seen what happens there. Just look at everything that's a slam space. <laughs> oh gosh. There's so much. Ethiopian crossbows that I just realized don't have bodkin arrows. So that could be why purple maybe hasn't done as much. But still they are extremely strong. We'll have heavy camel for orange. Heavy camel great against the, the cavalier. But they're going to be paladin soon. Sheesh. Red definitely focusing a little bit more on economy, trying to catch up on villagers. So we're not seeing crazy raids. But actually, a couple random knights have made it through to here. But Gray's got to be careful because he's also focused on this situation. But yes, our main focus still remains on Slam side. Just trying to see if Slam can make it to 200 eco. And see if Slam can make it to Imp. His resources are looking close to going up to the Imperial Age. And I think he's clicked. I think it's... No, no, no. He hasn't clicked yet, but it'll come in soon. It's hard to keep track of everything with team games. Purple says, not today, Slam. You're not taking out my castle. Showtel Warrior hype. Orange showing up with Trebs. Uh, random trade cart. Hide random trade cart. Uh, we need more camels here, probably, if you're Orange. Orange only having 10 camels is a bit of an issue. Holy resources for Charlie, boys. Charlie boys needs to have more calf here. Maybe it's because he's not under pressure. You know, like yellow's under pressure. He's like, I don't want a pro player like Slam judging me. And Slam is starting to think about it. 175 eco. Infantry upgrades. There's four castles here. And yellow also with a bomber cannon. So yellow's like, dude, Slam, am I going to have to do all this myself, man? What's Slam's KD? Does this show it? Slam's KD is... Uh, well, he's actually killed a lot. 32 kills, 44 units lost. Considering he hasn't really made military numbers in this game, it's not bad. Got Frankish Paladin, 192 HP. Red has just clicked him. So Red's going to be stuck on Knights for a long time. But, you know, there's still a lot of stuff inside these castles. Orange could be making camels here shortly. How's this going, by the way? The fight between green and gray. It's just a 1v1 over here, pretty much. Uh, it seems like the Karambits are holding. That's all you... If you really think the other side's going to push back, that's all you need. It's just to hold. The green trying his best to save the Bombard Cannons and fail. Okay. Well, it didn't happen. Yellow running through. And they have to chase that. And slowly, purple starting to lose position. Shout out to Teal, who's been making random towers to defend <laughs> in this game. And now Slam is an imp. 192 eco. So we are not going to debate whether or not I feel like the revolution necessarily belongs in the game as is. What we are going to talk about, though, is if it stays in the game, how do you do it? Okay? Obviously, you research the tech with a bunch of villagers. Yeah. But the key is you want to have enough food floating... Where um, you need enough food floating where you can create more villagers instantly after doing it. And you want a lot of town centers. So right now, Slam's got... Um, he's got 8 TCs. That feels decent. I would even go up to 10 TCs if you can. If you've got the food floating. And right now, Slam's got lots of food in the bank. Also, another thing, this is particularly for 1v1s, is you want Siege with it. But Slam just finishes the tech... Slam now has 190 military. And so the total military count for his team is 305. And it is 170 for the other team. They were already kind of having problems pushing. But now there's just Flemish militia everywhere. Oh my goodness. And these things with Arson are actually really good against buildings as well. So poor Stomper was like, man, I thought we had him. <laughs> and then Orange, of course... And red probably a bit tied up and frustrated because yellow got through to them. And Arnt had just gotten to the camel numbers where he could have traded well against yellow. But now there's 200 Flemish militia. And the issue with the strat is that it's instant. Right? So you go up to some crazy numbers. Nobody can compete with 200 army. Nobody can compete with that. And then Slam's going to be back, sending villagers back to farms. And his eco will actually be recovered. Again, credit to Gray. 
for continuing to hold on this side because this is a different game. If Yellow would have had to come over help, to help here, or even Teal would have had to come over and help there, it would have been different. But this has basically been a 3v3 on one side and 1v1 on the other. And Yellow says Blue never made army, and it's kind of laughing. Like, oh my goodness. I don't even... I'm not familiar with Blue, so I don't know if he knows. You know, Slam is one of the better players in the world. How many people out there are pumped, though, that we're seeing the Japanese towers, man? Yasama's probably in. I didn't really keep track. Yeah, it definitely looks like Yasama's in. And we even have Keep. And Japanese late game isn't that exciting, but if you get the towers out there, man, it can be really tough to push those things. Anyways, Camels from Orange have tried to go for a raid, I guess. And, uh... Uh, camels aren't so good against tower fire or castle fire, so that's probably not going to last too long. But he's desperate. 175 Flemish Militia right now for Slam. You could tell Red's just a little stressed. Earlier he was like, dude, I need those relics. I think he saw someone on his team had relics. I'm not sure who. The relics could have maybe helped. Flemish Militia. They're knocking on the door. They're pushing in. Slam's got some trebs as well. Slam hasn't even really lost that many of them. And oh, the Cavalier are going to get shredded here. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Orange tried to raid a player who doesn't have any villagers at home anymore. Oh, God. No, the camels are going to be trapped. The few villagers that are here are trapping the camels. Oh, no. For a second there, I th kind of thought Red had Paladin. But it was just a paladin he'd converted, I guess. And, like, Flemish militia are actually insane units. We never see anyone produce them out of the TCs. Um, because, you know, the effect of having all your villagers turn into military infantry is already strong enough. But it's definitely a question of what do you make now? Well, you need numbers. And for numbers, you need time, which is why Slam bringing forward the siege as well is tough. And Orange says, I have the highest score in the team, and the lowest one in the other is better. So he's saying that we are getting stomped, basically. Orange, very observant. Very observant individual. <laughs> so anyways, the camels, uh, they've still been trapped here. And I don't know how Yellow actually built a castle there. But they will eventually go down. Slam is up to 30 villagers now. Not really producing. I remember watching this, and Slam wasn't really spending food to produce more vills. He was just chilling. He was happy with how this game had gone. He had his rhinos earlier. He had his feast. And it doesn't feel like there's any real resistance here from Red. Purple's awkward map gen actually helped him survive here. Kind of being stuck in the corner. It was a very weird map gen all around. And again, Gray performed very well on this side to be able to hold against Green. Because I, I would give advantage to the Byzantines here, I think. And they've just been fighting their 1v1 the whole game. More and more keeps here from the Japanese. Uh, Trebs as well. And these militia are everywhere. And poor Orange feels flexed upon. Poor Red doesn't have a base anymore. But a pretty fun game. It seemed like everyone had a good time, right? The fact that other people talked about Slam's elephants, not even just his teammates, but people were looking over there enough times and saw the rhinos, sorry, not elephants, is pretty funny to me as well. Yeah, I'm a little self-conscious now. Like, how many times do I say stomp while casting? Now that I've said stomp a bunch, I wonder if it's because I always say it or I've, that word has just come to mind now because we have stomper. Man, can you imagine a couple onager shots here, though? Whew. Green just let out the well. Yes. Uh, it's like, oh, I guess we lost. This is, oh, I wasn't watching. Orange says, I lost. We lost a long time ago. Red is still salty about Dark Age. <laughs> we lost when I lost three bills to boars. My bad. And Stomper says, 11 WTF. All right, so they're talking it out. Uh, Orange is going for crossbowmen with Persians. It only costs wood after that technology, but still, it is still a crossbow. And Red is still pissed about the boars. He says these freaking boars path like idiots. Well, maybe if you would call them rhinos like they really are, they wouldn't be so mean to you. 
And Orange is like, GL is the same team as Viper, so... He's like, it's alright, guys. It's alright. <laughs> I like this, though. Like, Red's clearly frustrated and said Purple did well. And then Purple's like, well, I thought so, but he went troll strat. Purple did do well. Purple and Red could have beaten Slam if they were just... If they were a bit more aggressive on the hill, honestly. If they coordinated a little bit more, they could have beaten him. Yellow's over here with Paladins now. <laughs> and Red says, call it, we gonna be on YouTube maybe, so smile. And it's just a frowny face from Orange. Uh, congratulations, you guys are absolutely on YouTube. And the GGs are probably gonna ring out here. It was a fun game. A really fun game. Slam rebooming right now, by the way, if you're curious. He's going back up to a bit above 60 villagers. It's taking him some time, but the GGs are called. And I had a good time casting it. Um, there have been other instances of people collecting lots of rhinos on Black Forest. I will be playing in a Black Forest tournament in... I think it's in a month. Uh, so I might attempt it as well. I might even, you know, in some of these chill evenings, play some Black Forest and maybe there'll be some fun games, but... Yeah, I feel like the extra board generations on Black Forest are always pretty fun. The GG. Yeah, I hope the team that lost here isn't too disappointed in themselves. It seems like they had the right perspective. Uh, it did seem like the other team had you know more skill just because they had slam, but also it felt like yellow had performed quite well. But a fun one there. Uh, everyone was just flocking to slam side. Slam had no army for the longest time. Eh? Just a couple monks, a couple mangonels. There was orange, there was purple, there was red. Everybody was over there. Yellow was the real MVP, though, I think, keeping slam alive there. There's the military count. You can see when Slam finally decided to click that technology. Woof, Capture Rage just can't even handle this. It's laggy. And then here's a look at the economies, if you're curious. Lots of stone collected there from Wu, who's the one who made all those towers, which was pretty cool. And again, credit to some of Slam's teammates on the other side, too, who were able to defend those attacks. I, uh, you know, I'm not the biggest Black Forest guy in general, but... There are some really cool instances that can happen in these Black Forest games that don't happen all the time, right? So I like unique games where we have fun, funny little instances like that with the boars or, you know, the revolution rush, which is rare. Uh, occasionally you have villager sneaks. I, I like to dive into the depths of the game and, and find some cool things. So I can't promise to do Black Forest uploads all the time for people who really enjoyed this one, but I will promise as always to switch it up and, you know, find some more unique things from time to time. So... That was a good time. <laughs> oh, hold on. One final thing. My, I think my favorite part about that game is still the boars. But what I didn't know when I started to cover this was that Slam would bring in his eight boars, but also that everyone else would be trying it at the same time. <laughs> so Slam brought in his eight boars flawlessly, or rhinos, excuse me, flawlessly, and he didn't lose a villager. Red apparently lost three villagers. <laughs> Um, we saw Teal lose one, uh, and who knows if other people lost villagers to the boars as well. So that, that was pretty funny. I only went into this knowing what Slam did, not that the other people made mistakes. Uh, feels bad for those. 